He literally clarified a lot of things and broke down why women do the things they do as far as when they pick mates. And I all this all this time I thought women were just greedy. But he really just he he really just we, we don't even have no more discussions about this anymore after 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 this video. Women like men who are about four years older, who okay. manifest signs of success, as well as being handsome and personable and all of that. The reason for that is that they're looking to equalize the economic disparity that exists because women take a harder hit from sex and pregnancy than men. They're Ooh. looking for someone who's competent and generous. Competence would be intelligence, general cognitive ability, and the markers that go along with that. They want conscientiousness or openness, as well as other desirable personality traits. So they're looking for someone who could provide, well, it's not because they're greedy precisely it's because they're going to put themselves in a more vulnerable position if they have a child and we know this because even affluent women who have a child by themselves or who get divorced tend to drop down the socioeconomic hierarchy a fair bit which is of course why alimony payments and all of that are necessary so this hypergamy means women are much more selective in their mating than men are and it's not surprising because they pay a bigger price for sex it's more dangerous for women because they can get pregnant and it might be more dangerous emotionally that right here is a drops the mic type of moment. He just clarified everything into think. I just made a video asking women, asking females in my in my on my other channel. I asked him. I said, "Why do you, why is it y'all always go for the dude with the most money? Y'all bypass the dude that got good characteristic. I mean, good character, and y'all go for a dude that got a lot of money. I mean, the dude can be a cornball, but has has no character, and y'all go for somebody that has a bigger bank account. You can gain and lose money and gain it again." So if there's something that is conditional, like money, why would y'all base y'all security on that? And he just answered the question. And you know what's crazy? Most women could not answer. It's funny because he's a man. Most women couldn't even answer the question how he answered or how he addressed it. That whole issue about women being gold diggers and stuff like that. He literally just addressed that whole thing. Now, yeah, granted, some women are just greedy and gold diggers. They don't even got to put them. They don't really have, literally have to do all that. All the stuff they do. Just trying to date the man higher up and keep going higher up and getting more and more money. Yeah, some people are, some women are greedy, but most women, most women, the first thing they think about is security. They think about money. They think about getting with a man that has financial security. She only had to be, hardly have to be attracted to him at the time. Now, the guy did say that that's important, but the most important thing, a woman will bypass a super handsome man, a person with great character, and, and marry a dude that got money, but they probably would be sleeping around with a dude that's handsome, though. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, this was amazing. This clarifies a lot of things. I thought women were just gold diggers because they didn't, they didn't have a, a good nature. Come to find out, they actually do it. They have legitimate reasons for why they are the way they are. You notice? 